Uh, snip it means do you see the snipping the snipping points it's track it track it track it track it and then this is the snipping points even though you see the snipping points you see you see the effect of the snapping points that's what i mean <clears throat> so it's this is you can remove the snapping points from this one then that's one so then end of the day we call the the, the functions itself so you got the idea how what I mean. So you have a components, the component to component communications. You can do this way, or maybe you can take the different way. But I found is this is a, is a efficient way to do this. The component. So in the in the in the you see the effect address 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 components. Now we have look at the some some other components like address in the building information components. Oh no, it's I didn't explain what I mean here, the two-way data binding. So if I go the 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 test case, the, the example that's if you if you omit this line of code, what's happening here? So I have a sum, I have is forms. I have forms here. I put it forms.get value and pipe to the JSON format, address information and pipe to the JSON format. So <clears throat> So if I go to there, so you see the complete object is, is track, what attribute we have it. Here is the empty, this is the form part, and this is the object part. So if I type it here, you see the automatically fill it. So let's see. This is so so you see that everything is perfect this was you see that the changes uh, we need to fix it this one the layout because i am not the the GUI developer i'm not expert enough to do it but but we will do it manage it somehow and then you get coordinates points maybe coordinates points 90 in bangladesh and then comma 23 sorry and 26. sorry i cannot type it apps and this way 999 and then other coordinates point maybe then uh, 90 again there's not so on so forth then you can so on so forth so so we need to fix it this layout so you see that you got the idea of what i mean so if you type it and then automatically this value is the render or bind to the your models and then you can you can do change the models and automatically fill the models this is the two-way data bind so, <clears throat> so let's have a talk about the, our second forms, uh, our user registration forms, exactly the same information, same implementation, because I said it is standard structure, uh, the user registration forms, where the user registration forms are located, uh, address forms, and then buildings. This is the... Uh, maps user registration form is here the exactly the same so we have a just a definition this definition it says saw the difference so that's why i'm i'm asking i am i said to you there's two template driven forms and then angular uh, and the reactive form all the different so this is one of the example how the template driven form look like like here the user registration this is the form of template reason it doesn't change a lot in the view level but in the in the when you did the real implementation, real validation, customization validation, that this is hard to you write down every every validation checking to the your HTML page in the component level because this is one of the examples. So this is the reactive forms that uh, we already talk about. This reactive form it has a different structure of informations, uh, uh, the form definition, the form builders, and then uh, from grouping. You see this one, and for this case, there is nothing. Uh, this case the address not the address the user registration and the registration forms and there's nothing so just simply define in all these thing fdl so selectors and then all things all together so this is all the basic functionalities because here i didn't did the real implementation so i have some dummy data at the moment i will continue the when the service is is calling so this is the view page, the exactly same thing. This is not a part of the information I didn't implement yet. You can see the, the already the bind the information, the forms and the object itself, and the same thing. So buttons and then import forms and so on and so forth. And this is the 
uh, buildings exactly the, the reactive forms you see the all the attributes and then you have the that there is no no child object in this one and this is the your floor models for reactive forms and then your html exactly the html same thing nothing more nothing special and then there is a <clears throat> floor information because we didn't implement it yet and then okay that means we have all the the basic idea of how we can build the your reactive form or your template driven form that's i say the template driven form will be the best use case is when you have very very simple cases uh, on really less validation case then you use the template driven form if you have a reactive forms complex the complex models domain models like you have a child to child and then that case i i suggest you just go to the reactive form or model driven forms that's the best and then you can do the optimization your 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 your, your form buildings that's true and then we okay we done our form buildings we start our the different type of form buildings we form we did some css or some html we did some control for the, our controls and we did our all the maps functionalities our map how can we integrate the different types of maps and how can do you build it automatically your geometry into the maps and then do the control of those those maps so let's have a here detailed look on the uh, look on the, the the functionalities that we expect so the forms is okay that's we need to be detailed discussion about this one so this is one of the main part of the um yeah, main part of the application so so we can go there these components this is because you see that the empty nothing is there just like it's the template implementation of the uh, of the of the geometry functionalities geo functionality where it is located very simple it has to be the map component so i just, I just structure it like every components in the component directory and other things is other directory so maps is a components and then this is the two components is like form map components and this is our component that we expect so you see the the components it is the most important components you need to be you need to be really carefully look for for these components so exactly the same definitions we import the necessary uh, libraries javascript libraries from office street maps uh, open layers sorry uh, with open street maps is the base map so here's there's a for your template in view technology and css and then all necessary input and we put it our our let long and we modify the same thing modify and features modifications and then do the do the some styling and add the vectors and vector has own styling and modifies and then add the maps and put the mouse positions and add the map layers into the maps and set the coordinates point center points and the zoom level and the, do the interactions and the same thing draw here and draw here and remove the features and this is the one of the features that uh, we have here this the components that's what we said so here let's say it works this is the template that we said so it works the template line string if i do the line string it works and if i do the points yes it works and then if i do the circles and then it also works yes it works it, it works as by anyhow so it's like like if you have the center to center communication then maybe i'd like to send the central central functions and then you can do center, center to center and then maybe center to center maybe something like that it's i need to write down something for the program code you see the snippet the more modify that's the most important one that's i explain you and later if i need a modification you need to do this you see the modifications it works expect even though you can modify this position this is most important for the ability in the validation and even though most important for edit the code operations when you try to edit or change some object information here then you need to be you know, do the code operations you see that it works it automatically works 